a car in every garage, a chicken in every pot, and the internet at every outlet. We've got the Cornix GameNet on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Uber geeks have Uber cows, and Uber cows come from Gateway. Hey, welcome back to Gadget at the TechStop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser. I'm a Jesuit in the California Province Society of Jesus. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center, located on the campus of the University of Hawaii. I want to take a moment to thank everybody who took the time to write, to send messages, to leave comments, to visit the Tech Stop and congratulate us on our 50th episode. That was unexpected, and it's very nice to know that there are people out there who actually want to receive the, the data that we're giving you, the, see the tech. And that just makes us redouble our effort. It makes us want to give you what you want. And that's where we're going with uh, the Coronex GameNet adapters. Now, the GameNet adapters are essentially the AV200s from Coronex, which is a major manufacturer of power line uh, networking. Now, when I say power line networking, I know that I'm going to create a little bit of a shudder in the force of the Uber Geek IT world because power line networking doesn't have all that great of a reputation. The technology itself is good. It's solid. It, it, it's, a, it's a nice way to leverage existing wires to push our data at the same time that we're pushing our power. The problem being that many of the units that have made it out to the market have been these cheap, no name or generic crap bands that seem to fall apart at the, the very first sign of trouble. We've had quite a few of these in the office, and they, none of them have made, except for one, have made episodes of Gadget. The biggest problem we had was, well, first, they were slow, but, but more than that, they weren't very reliable. I mean, these are designed to replace copper. It's not wireless. I mean, wireless, we know that sometimes there's going to be interference, and sometimes it will go down, we move, it comes back. But with a power line adapter, we want it to be like an actual physical copper cable. I mean, that's the whole idea of having a power line adapter. And what we found was that over time, most of the adapters that we plugged in, if not all, failed out. They would require us to power cycle it. So, you know, disconnect and reconnect, which wasn't too much of a hassle. But if you're using it as your backbone, you don't ever want to have to do that. So Coronex has sent us the AV200 in their GameNet package, telling us that this could solve our woes. The GameNet package is comprised of two Coronex AV200 Powerline Ethernet wall mount adapters, and the Cat5 patch cables that you would need to connect them in your network. The AV200 adapters are auto MDX, which means that they will automatically detect if they are connected to a computer or a switch and change their internal configurations to match. The AV200 is externally simple. It has a two-prong power plug for connecting the adapter to your grid, a single 10100 Base-T fast Ethernet port, and three LEDs that indicate power, Ethernet, and power line link. The AV200 is rated for full duplex 100 megabits per second transfer. That means that Coronex claims that the adapter can transfer 200 megabits per second, 100 megabits in each direction, simultaneously. One of the coolest features in the AV200 is the built-in repeating circuitry. That means that you can extend the coverage and increase the usable throughput of your power line network by adding power line adapters. Each adapter can receive, boost, and repeat the signal down the line, extending your network. Using the GameNet is really simple. If you're not concerned with encryption, quality of service, or any of the other more advanced network settings, you can simply plug both adapters into your power grid, connect the Cat5 cables to whatever devices you want to link into your network, and relax. The three lights on the front of the AV200 will tell you when the adapters have power, when they are linked to other power line adapters, and when they have an active Ethernet connection. If all three lights turn on, you're golden. The GameNet is marketed to those who want an easy way to connect their Xbox, PS3, or other gaming console to the internet, but we found that the capabilities of the AV200 extend far beyond that. Each AV200 has a configuration page that can be accessed through a web interface. From this interface, you can check the status of your powerline network, including throughput and bandwidth, 
you can change your network ID and set the encryption key to keep your data secure and away from prying eyes. You can customize which types of equipment can use the Powerline bridge and set a fixed or DHCP IP configuration depending on how your network is set. Coronex also includes the ability to tweak the frequency at which the AV200 adapters communicate. This is a welcome addition to anybody who currently has a data over Powerline network, like an X10 or various video and audio sending units, as well as anybody who picks up strange interference patterns on their wireless devices. Getting really uber geeky, the AV200 configuration screen also allows you to enable or disable multicast and VLANs, stuff that most normal users will never have to play with, but which UberGeek network administrators will love. The AV200 can also have its own quality of service or QoS parameters changed in order to provide the user with the best possible experience of game quality, video quality, or whatever you might be running over your network. In our lab tests, we ran a constant stream of data over two AV200s that were set at opposite ends of the building. We made sure that there were no power strips, line conditioners, or other electrical equipment between the units, then we hooked up Ixtia's iX Chariot throughput tester to see what would happen. Over the next six weeks, we tortured the AV200s, and not once did they stall, freeze, or otherwise have to be power cycled. That already sets them apart from every other power line adapter that we have ever tried. The throughput numbers were, well, amazing. The iX Chariot pegged the game net at a maximum of 141 megabits per second. With this typical overhead of an Ethernet network, this is amazingly close to the 200 megabits per second theoretical limit of the AV200 adapters. This performance was almost three times higher than gear that we have tested from other vendors. What this means for you is fast transfers, solid multimedia streaming, and no lag gaming. The Coronex GameNet is available online now at vendors like Buy.com or Amazon for between $130 to $150 for the set. I have to admit that when we first received the game net, we didn't have all that high expectations for the AV200s. I mean, most of the other Powerline Ethernet adapters that we've played with have disappointed us. We didn't know why the Coronex gear would be any different. But our tests prove otherwise. The simple six-week torture test. I mean, in an environment like this, where we have power surges, where we have heat, we have humidity... The fact that these didn't glitch at all, that they didn't require a power cycle, that they didn't even so much as burp on the network, lets us know that Coronex has done a good job when designing these. I mean, physically putting the hardware in here that you need to make sure that these keep going. And it gives you the confidence that you could replace your copper or extend your network using just this. Now, the other cool thing about this is the fact that Coronex seems to have put a lot of thought into designing these units so that they can be used both by the network noob, you know, the person who just wants to extend their network so they can get the internet on their 360 or do some gaming with their PS3, and they've got the ability to be tweaked with, tweaked with, is that a word, by network administrators who, who want to play with quality of service, with VPNs, with uh, tagging, VLANs. You know, all those advanced networking features that you wouldn't expect from sort of an entry-level device. What Cornex has done is that they've put their vast knowledge of building enterprise-class powerline hardware into something that uh, feels comfortable in a home or a small office. Now, I do have to add one caveat, and that is, like all powerline adapters, these are susceptible to putting things in between your, your, uh, your network. In other words... You don't want to put these into a power strip or a UPS or have a power line conditioner between the modules because the whole idea of those power line conditioners is that they get rid of all variances and that includes the signals that are transferring your data. But other than that, these are fantastic. I mean, especially for the price, for 130 bucks or so for the pair, this is a fantastic way to extend your network if you don't want to have cables running on the floor or on the ceiling or have to drill through the roof or crawl God knows where you may want to take a look at the Coronex game that it adapters and their AV200 power line. Now, if you want to find out more, you can always go to Coronex at www.coronex.com. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out anything about any of the products that we've ever reviewed on Gadget, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links for downloading the high-resolution versions of all of our episodes. If you want to send us an email message, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. 
Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balasser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. Thank you.